What's happening guys, today I thought I'd do a quick Wix versus Squarespace comparison video as these are the two main website builders on the market. Now over here on the left we have Wix in this browser and if we look in the other browser I have Squarespace set up ready to go so it's easy to jump between the two as we do this comparison. Now one of the deciding factors for you might be the cost, but you don't always want to rely on the cost that you find on their website because there's often different deals and discounts that can get you a reduction. What I'll do is I'll stick a link in the description below and that'll take you to any current deal that they might have on at the present time. So this is the setup screen for Wix. What it does is give you a list of different website types and you simply select the one which closely matches the website you want to create. As you can see over here on Squarespace, they have pretty much the exact same thing. So what we're going to do for this demonstration is just select photography as our type of website. Now this takes you straight to their templates and they're all themed at a photography website. If we come back over to Squarespace and we select the photography option over here, you'll notice it then gives you some additional options to further fine tune your choice. Now when it comes to how many templates are available, Wix has a huge amount of more than 800 templates to choose from. Whereas Squarespace, well, they only have over 100, but that doesn't mean to say they're not any good. In fact, they've gone for a quality over quantity decision here, and it's a well-known fact that Squarespace actually have the best templates out of any website builder available today. So let's go ahead and open up a random template from both Wix and Squarespace and then we can compare how the actual website building process looks. So this is Wix and as you can expect everything is laid out in a very simple and easy to understand way. Up the top here you've got your page navigation, on the left you have all of your design options and features and up the top here is a button to see how things are going to look when it's on a mobile. And the layout on Squarespace is pretty much exactly the same thing. The page navigation is over here on the left and this is also where you can access all of the design tools and features. And similar to Wix, you can click on a button up the top which will then show you how it's going to look when viewed on a mobile. Now when we start to take a look at how you actually design and edit the website itself, this is where you're going to come across the main and major difference between the two platforms and that is that on Wix you can literally grab elements and put them anywhere you like on the website. You literally have the freedom to create the thing exactly the way that you envisioned it. Whereas if we come over to Squarespace you'll see that things aren't quite the same. You are not able to just drag and drop an element anywhere you like, instead there are certain blocks and sections which these must fit in. Now you might be thinking that instantly this makes Wix a lot better, but there's something else that you need to take into consideration. When you're viewing a website on a mobile, the order of the different elements can often get changed around depending on the browser that you're viewing it from. Now when you have complete freedom and you're placing the elements anywhere you like, sometimes when viewing on a mobile the entire website can become scrambled and look messed up. Whereas with Squarespace's organized sections, everything is in the correct place and it's able to be translated down to a mobile website and viewed in the correct way every single time. Now this doesn't mean that your Wix website won't work properly on a mobile because it will. It just means that after you've made some design changes, you have to check the mobile version to check that they've gone the way that you want. If not, you have to come back and adjust things and keep checking the mobile version to make sure that it looks correct. This can add a little bit extra time on, so although it seems great being able to have that freedom, it can sometimes also make things more complicated. So let's take a look at how easy it is to add an element onto your website using both Wix and Squarespace. Now with Wix it's a simple case of hitting the add button on the left and selecting the element you want to add. In this example I think we're just going to stick an image into the website so I can give you a nice basic example. Now usually here I'm sure you'd want to select your own image but for the purpose of this I'm just going to use one of the images supplied by Wix. And once it's selected, as before, you can resize it and drag it around and place it literally anywhere you like. If there's not enough room, you can simply move the section down to make it even larger and then you have enough room to fit everything in. And it really is as simple as that. So let's move over to Squarespace and see how it's done here. First of all, you have to click on the edit button to get into the edit window itself. And then from here, it's really a case of adding a new section by clicking this plus button. 
Again, there are a list of different things that you can add, but on the left, we're going to select images. Now you do have the freedom to be able to adjust the size and edit the image itself, but what it's going to do is it's going to add an entire section into the website. And as before, you don't have the same freedom of movement with the image. Although what you can do now is you can actually shift these sections up or down so you can arrange the website the way that you like. So in other words, both Wix and Squarespace can be fully customized, but the way that you go about it can be slightly different. Now, when we take a look at the actual options of what you can add into the website, you'll see that both Wix and Squarespace both share all of the important things that you could ever really want. So as an example, this is Wix and there's options to add text blocks, images, buttons, galleries, all sorts of things like that to physically design the site. And then down the bottom, you have things like contact forms, booking forms, a section to run events. You can have a blog on here. You can even add a members only section. And of course, you have the option of adding an online store. So now when we take a look at the same options over on Squarespace, you'll notice that it has pretty much the same things available. You have appointments, you have a contact form, you have a calendar for events, people can make reservations for your website. And as with Wix, obviously you have the all important option to create that online store. And when it comes to selling things online, both of these website builders have a very easy step-by-step -step guide to setting up your shop and they walk you through the process so even a complete beginner can get going with selling. So all in all, I think that both of these website builders are absolutely brilliant and you can achieve the results you like with either. However, the way that you go about things are slightly different on each one, but the end results can always be amazing. I think the best way to look at this is kind of like looking at Windows versus Mac. Wix is more like Windows where it has a lot of features and you have a lot more freedom in the way that you do things. However, the options at Squarespace are a bit more enclosed, such as the fact that you don't have as many templates and the fact that you can't place things anywhere you like on the website. But as I said, these templates are the best on the market and all of the features seem to be a bit more streamlined. It seems they've gone for the quality over quantity approach and in many cases this can be a better option. However, as far as which one I'd recommend, well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend one over the other. I'd certainly recommend them both, but depending on your needs and your level of expertise, this is where things will differ. And as mentioned earlier, the differences that I've put into this video are one thing, but obviously price will come into it as well. Now, there are different deals and discounts online depending on where you look and how hard you search. However, I've done the hard work for you and in the description, you'll find a couple of links to each of these websites. And on those links, it will make sure that you're taken to the best possible discount at the current time. So I really hope this video has helped you to make a decision. Good luck with your website and I hope you've learned something. If you haven't already done it, I'd appreciate if you subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos I have to come on this subject. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video.